Hello everybody, I just want to take this opportunity to send out a welcome message as we begin the brand new academic year. It's fantastic to be back at school after what has been a long and hot summer, but I trust that everybody has had an enjoyable one. The school is now back in, in session and it's bursting with life as all the pupils returned yesterday and we've been straight back at it with the pupils back in period one this morning and we've really hit the ground running. Um, I took the opportunity this morning to speak to the whole school in, in my assembly um, and spoke a little bit about the history of Bryanston and just trying to get the pupils to connect with that history. Um, talked a little bit about some of the most notable OBs that have been through here and how they've gone on to make such a positive change in, their, in the world beyond Bryanston and then brought it back to the future and just spoke to the pupils about their behaviours, their actions today, what they do on a day-to-day -day basis and how that will then shape their futures as they go on from here. As we all know, Bryanston is full of incredible opportunities. And so my main message and that of the rest of the team, especially for the new pupils, is that they come in and they make the most of those opportunities and that they get stuck in. Standards obviously have got to be high um, and that's something that we're talking to them about as well. But ultimately we want to see everybody here with a smile on their face and enjoying themselves. Last term, I sent out a email and a message to all our existing parents, just talking about our vision and our strategy as a school, as we look ahead to our centenary in 2028. I'd like to thank all those parents who have got in contact on the back of that. We've had some brilliant discussions, lots of parents wanting to get involved in different areas of those, especially those four pillars that we outlined, and also lots of positive feedback around the Bryanston promise as well. So we're all really excited about this school year, but also about the strategic work that we've got going on and the direction that the school is going in. I also just want to take this opportunity to highlight a couple of um, key staff appointments that we've been able to make. I'm delighted to, to announce that Clement Donegan will be joining the school as the senior deputy head. He'll be joining us in April, so at the beginning of the summer term. He'll be coming from Ratcliffe College in Leicestershire, where he's been the deputy head for the past five years. And prior to that, has been a head of chemistry and a housemaster. Uh, also delighted to say that Vicky Green will be joining us in January as our Director of Performing Arts. Vicky has experience having worked in the West End, um, but also in education, having worked in schools from 3 to 18, both in the UK and also internationally. So we look forward to welcoming both of them as the year goes on. I'm also delighted to say that with me here in the video and, and just going to say hello, we've got this year's Heads of School. We've got Brianna and Ollie, who are both here, and I think they just want to say a little piece. Hi, so my name is Brianna, and I'm really excited to be head girl this year. Um, something that Ollie and I want to work on definitely this year is pupil voice and pupil engagement, as that's something that's really important at Bryanston, and we can't wait to meet all the new people and get to know the pupils this year. Hi everyone, I'm Ollie. Um, I'm really excited to be this year's head boy. Um, another aim that we're really looking forward to working towards is in the A2 Charities Weekend uh, in the spring term of 2023. Um, we've give, been given the opportunity to raise lots of money um, for great causes, so that's something we're really looking forward to developing and getting the student body together so we can really meet some incredible aims. Thank you very much, guys. So finally, just a big thank you to you as parents and guardians for all your support for the year ahead. Um, and like I said earlier, if any of you would like to get in touch, have a conversation about where we're going or have got any feedback on what we can be doing better, I'd love to hear it. So thank you very much indeed. And hopefully we'll see most of you over the next few weeks or so. Thank you.